Hi, I'm Srini Ganesan from OneBridge Technology and I'm the Senior Director for Healthcare Data and Analytics Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about uh, trends in healthcare data and analytics. So the context setting is basically about what are the challenges that are actually happening with providers in particular in, in terms of integrating myriads of data which is actually coming in from so many different sources and how they are actually able to act nimble so that they can really address challenges real time. Now, particularly with COVID, the, you know, most of these challenges really came up front and providers were really struggling to find out what is the best ways in which they could actually put their foot forward in terms of trying to address some of the data and analytics challenges. So more, more in terms of you know, where there are opportunities in areas of investment. What is happening is a lot of analytical vendors are trying to actually engage with providers in the space of trying to help them specifically on building actionable insights using the data that is being integrated together. And particularly, there are a lot of opportunities in terms of identifying risk of populations that they are serving, uh, now be it in the space uh, potentially in terms of what happened with COVID, but there are so many different types of population health analytical solutions that are actually being put together because providers are trying to actually look at cohorts and trying to address their needs in terms of how care management strategies can be put together. So when you look at the ecosystem of what is going on with respect to the data itself, data is actually up front center and there is data that is actually originating because of Providers need in terms of going into consumerism, number one. The second thing is more in terms of the healthcare ecosystem data that is being actually brought into it. And the third one, very specifically in terms of so many different virtual systems that are springing in or IoT and all those kind of information that is actually being brought together. And the fourth one is more in terms of, you know, what is actually on the tech companies also trying to, you know, push the envelope in terms of trying to figure out how they can actually bring in data, more data into this. And all of this is actually tied together in terms of uh, the provider trying to get to a fairly aggregated information in terms of what's going on with a patient. So longitudinal patient records and some of those have already been placed, but, but essentially trying to tie them all together to get to the golden record of the patient so that they can actually serve them better. So when you look at the overall approach in terms of how this is panning out, there are basically five different segments of what is going on with respect to how data is getting transformed from every stage so that it is becoming more consumable and actionable. So on the left side, what you would see is there are these myriads of sources that are getting integrated because of the EMRs and all the other clinical systems and the IoT and all the other data sets that are coming in. The second piece is more in terms of how data curation itself happens. So the interesting aspect is there is demand in terms of trying to curate that data so that you know they can be sanitized and structured so that they can be consumed. And the third layer is more in terms of what providers are looking more in terms of uh, how do they actually store that? I mean, is it is it on-prem or cloud? And certainly data virtualization plays a big part of it. And if you go to the next layer, it is more in terms of how data is prepared and how it is actually served. So in the preparation, definitely providers are looking for uh, self-service capabilities or something there where they can actually package data as a product so that that can be served better for the consumption itself. And on the, on the far end, what you would see is specifically in, in terms of the use cases, so be it behind analytics or be it specific to, you know, kind of providing advanced analytics or also data that is being consumed by some of the applications within the, you know, the digital ecosystem which providers are standing up. So more in terms of where OneBridge actually adds value in terms of the process is to provide the end-to-end -end breadth of services, be it in terms of strategizing how we actually go about helping some of our customers engage in this solution building or more in terms of the execution part or the enable part, enablement part in terms of how we actually take this to the business.